What's up and welcome back to my channel. I hope you have a great day. And if you're new to my channel, won't you? And happy fucking new year. It's 2019. Officially, it's January 1st. I just woke up at noon. I'm already starting my 2019 off correctly. But I'm going to show you guys how to install Wicked Whims, Extreme Violence mod, and you know, just general overall script mods. But go ahead and follow your girl on Instagram at it's me Troy. real quick though. Hey, how you doing? We're hit that subscribe button if you're new. And some of you aren't new and you're not subscribed yet. I'm still wondering what's the disconnect. And don't forget to like and turn on your notification bell for this video as well. But let's go ahead and jump into it. Okay, so welcome to Google. A lot of you have always asked me how, like, where do I download Wicked Wins? Well, your first step is one. I have a computer because you can't get wands on your console. I know some of you are like, oh, let me try to get this on my PS4 or on my Xbox. No, sis. That's not how it works. You know, you can't get mods there. Sorry. So once you get your computer or your laptop, your Mac, your Dell, your Asus, whatever you got, you go into Google or you can go to my handy dandy YouTube channel, which has the links all over it. I'll leave a video in the description box below for you that has a lot of script mods because once you watch this video, you're going to be a script mod like connoisseur. That's what we're going to call ourselves. You can type in, you know. Wicked Whims and Sims 4. You even gotta put Sims 4 in there. The Google's gonna know, oh, you want that Sims mod? Okay, Sims. And you click on Wicked Whims and you go to the official wickedwhimsmod.com website. This is an AT plus mod, AT plus content ahead. This website may contain age restricted materials. We know about that age restricted materials. Hey, YouTube. But half y'all are you know, under the age of 18 and we already know you got this shit in your game, so here we are. Wicked Whim slash Turbo Driver Sash and their team has put together a lot of, you know, materials and things like that for you. So you got download, installation manual, animations installer, common mistakes for those of you who like, it's not working. This shit is even blinking. It's like common mistakes. Stop going to us in the Discord and everything like this and look at this first. That's what they telling y'all. All right, reading is fundamental. That's the model of 2019. Reading is fundamental. We're going to download real quick. I already know how to download this mod, but hey, I'm showing you guys how to download this mod because it can be a little bit tricky if you don't know what you're doing and it's like your first time downloading mods and things like that. All you gotta do is you can choose which one you want. You want Sims file share or you want work upload. I'm a Sim file share house, so I'm gonna download this from the Sims event. So this is the driver, okay? This is part one of like part 12 of a step process. All right, so this mod has been downloaded over 183 times, probably more because, you know, Turbo Driver uh, creates a new update link for people to download it. You click download, you wait for Sims file share to get their shit together. You give it a heart while you're waiting again. Oh no, I'm waiting for Comcast to get this shit together. Hi Comcast. Okay, there you go. It's downloading right now for your girl. And I gave it a heart. So while that's downloading, part two. Okay, so you have the driver. So this is where it comes, this is where you know you need to listen to me. Like really fucking listen to me. Because if you don't want the sex animations and you may you just want the period settings for the Wicked Women's mod, then you don't gotta download nothing else. I mean you good sis. But if you really want, you know, your sim to be bound to go well, well all up in your game, then you need to scroll your ass down till you get to this section. Alright, so we got sex animations, optional mods, body mods, strap on mods, penis mods, bondage mods, and we got a couple of translations here for you. For the people who don't speak English. And you got some little other mods, you know, to go with it. Hey, Lisa's Wicked Perversion. I did a video on this a long time ago. It's age restricted. I told you, we know about that age restriction. Okay. To make the actual mod work, so the driver, which is what we just downloaded, is the overall driver, the Wicked Whims Turbo Driver. It gives you like one or two animations, but if you really want your sims to be going in and out, in and out... <laughs> you get what I you get what I did there. Then you need to download these animations. So you I'm gonna go like one. Cause once I tell you how to do one, then you'll be uh like you'll know what the fuck you do. Alright, warning, adult content. You must be 18 years of age or order to enter. Click below to verify your age or exit and down. Alright, so welcome to Lovers Labs. I'm gonna do my best not to um move my mouse a lot to uh you know censor this shit, but you need an account to download these animations from Lovers Labs. I have an account, my damn self, sorry. So we got like, you know, porn hentai running right now with this, like some Scooby-Doo hentai, okay. And right here will be the animations, like the, uh, what this uh, animation pack comes with. So it's one file, but it comes with like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like multiple animations in your game, just an FYI. I'm gonna carefully go down 
All right, so warning, Wicked Adults Ace Only, Wicked Whims. You need Wicked Whims for The Sims 4. You can find it here. Um, there's also a file you can get. I suggest going to the Wicked Whims website to get it. And this is where you go to download it. Your account, your main account, or sign in to download. So once you're signed in, I'm not signed in right now, you will get a download link for this. But first thing, but you need to like make sure it's updated. You know, check the updated, updated December 16, 2018. This is one of the ones I have in my game. Once it's updated, you see this updated, you can go ahead and download that. It's really just that simple. Then you just go down the damn list. Okay, you look at stuff, he's like, okay, I want this, I want this one too. And you can even see if you want some body mods, um, Necker Dolls HD feet I have in my game to make the feet look more realistic. Um, I think you only have one of these, either the Eve or the Hiroki uh extra skin tones you know penis mons i think you only have one of these i don't even use those and of course you can have go get you some face muscle and some knees so we could win all right so welcome to my downloads folder i have a lot of shit in here i have not downloaded i mean put in my game yet so here's wicked whims and basement of drugs i use seven zip i'll leave a link to seven zip when you have like compressed or yeah when you have compressed files like this then you're gonna need to go ahead and unzip them mostly it's like you know they're compressed for easy transfer so you extract files all that shit and now they're unzipped and i can go into them so i'm gonna go ahead and install these into my sims 4 game real quick like i said it's so fucking go to my sims 4 game mods and i'm going to delete this folder because i no longer need that one this is a completely new save file i'm using because my overall folder already has wicked whims i'm not you know putting my set i'm not sacrificing my settings to help y'all i'm sorry that shit i do that too many times already so i'll go into wicked whims but um wicked whims mod and all I have to really do is just move that shit over and then it's installed. I can even go ahead and, you know, paste in my little uh, ooh la la animation that I downloaded. I copied this from my other mods folder and then I'm done. You don't need any of this. Any of this is just licensing. Make sure you read licenses and shit like that. But it's done. Now you have your script mod, you have your tuning mod, you have your animations. Put all the animations you want in there. Um, if you want to know how I organize my CC folder, I have a video on that. It should have just linked for you in the description box below. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing for basement of drugs. I'm going to go ahead. It's good. Just going in there. Basement of drugs. How you're growing. How you're growing. And that's basically it. Okay. Now I still have the extreme violence mod in here. I'm gonna go ahead and extract that one real quick so that way I can show you guys how to do this after I've downloaded it and look you have all this stuff extras props all that good stuff so after you download it you just extract it I like to take off this TS4 part and it's in Bam! So let's go ahead and game so you guys can see. Alright guys, so we're here in my little Sims 4 loading page. What you want to do before you even start doing mods, you know, just make sure your script mods are enabled and other. Enable custom content and mods, yes, and make sure script mods are enabled. Okay, apply changes. Script mods are already enabled, so I don't really think I need to go and, you know, restart my game. But you will usually need to restart your game. And I'm going to go ahead and do new game. Bitch, no, don't ask me again. I don't want to do that fucking tutorial. This game straight up keep putting me in the goddamn tutorial. All right, I was like, why the fuck aren't these options showing up? Wicked Women says it's loaded. All right, so my sim is bald headed and can't get technical because a bitch has no mods to see in this game file. So welcome to my basic base game life where we're about to fuck the sim that we don't even know. Where is she? So, after you have all that started, you should get the Wicked Women's options. This is how you know it's loaded in correctly. It's working good. Have, you know, the green, the purple. And all you do is you just start doing what you need to do. But first things first, I want to show you guys how to, like, censor the stuff. In case, you know, you're a user or a streamer. So, you go to Wicked Women settings. You go to settings. And then you go to these settings. And you make sure naturism and exhibitionism, bitch. It's off, and I want you to go to sex settings. I want you to go to outfit settings. Sex undressing type is this able undressing. All right, NPC undressing disable them motherfuckers too. And you know, just in case auto dress up after sex, but fucking no. And you should be good to go. So let's go ahead and try it out. We just had a damn. I wonder if anybody is here for us to. Uh... No way, mentions frown for this sex look. All right, cool beans, because only I have one location. Probably all the bed locations. Um, really? What animations do I fucking have then, bitch? Oh my god. Wicked sex. Oh, wicked. Oh, 
Wicked. If I have any in here, oh, I don't. I only have ooh la la. I don't even know what came with ooh la la. Are you serious? Wicked. Here. Are you serious? Okay, whatever. But you guys get the, fi the fucking picture. Once you have a lot of animations in your game, a lot of them will start popping up. But clearly, the one file I have is basic as fuck and I don't know what's in it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on how to download that stuff. Sorry, there's no Wicked Wimps action. But hey, I have multiple videos where there are Wicked Wimps actions. I'll leave those in the description box below for you. Go have a good time. Subscribe and like. Join the boo gang. Hit that heart and fuck. Wait, no. Hit that subscribe. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye, boo.